If you like to use snap grids, you may have noticed in 2013 that your cursor no longer conforms or snaps to the snap grid by default. Now this is a change that was actually made in AutoCAD 2012, but one that's been addressed in 2013 by the inclusion of a new system variable called snap grid legacy. By setting your snap grid legacy value to one, your snap now behaves as it used to. Now, of course, whether your snap grid legacy is zero or one, anytime you're drawing something that requires numeric input, you're still going to be restricted to the grid as you always have been. But snap grid legacy only controls whether you'll be restricted to the grid when you're not in command input. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is that with snap grid legacy turned off by default so that it does not operate like older releases, it's easier to get in here and perform things like selection functions where you might be able to obtain gripping points. So you're not restricted by having to operate on the, the snap grid when that function occurred. So it's really just a matter of preference. If you want it to act just exactly like it did in 2011 or prior, set your snap grid legacy to one. Otherwise, give snap grid legacy zero a try and see how you like the new snap behavior.